Thin Manager offers three mobile applications to extend functionality to mobile devices. These applications support the operating systems of Apple, Windows, and Android with ITMC, WinTMC, and ATMC. By adding mobile devices to your Thin Manager configured environment, you add a plethora of secure and extendable functionality for content delivery. Thin Manager also allows for several safeguards to make sure your content stays and is delivered only how you designate. We'll discuss Thin Manager resolvers and those safeguards in another video. Let's set up a new Apple iPad tablet for use with Thin Manager through ITMC. You want to start by downloading the mobile application that is correct for the device you are adding. Visit downloads.thinmanager.com from your device and scroll down to see links to the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, or to directly download WinTMC or ATMC if desired. Let's mirror my iPad so I can show you a step-by-step -step of getting things set up. As mentioned before, you can download ITMC by searching for it in the App Store or by visiting downloads.thinmanager.com. I've already downloaded it onto my tablet. Before we launch ITMC, let me mention that both Android and Apple offer ways to secure your tablet to only use a single application instead of giving access to the full operating system. This is a great option to secure tablets used in your environment. In iOS, you can manage that through settings and accessibility, and then in guided access. Now let's launch ITMC. First, we want to set up our thin server connection. Click Add New Thin Manager Server at the bottom of the display. Type in the IP address of your Thin Manager server, and then click OK. Now you can give your server a name and enter a secondary Thin Manager server IP if you have one. Then click Save. Now the Thin Manager server will appear from the main dashboard of ITMC or ATMC, you know, whichever you're using. Now we can connect by clicking the server tile. First, you want to pick whether you're creating a new terminal or replacing an existing terminal in your configuration. We're setting up a new terminal, so I will select Create New Terminal. From here, you should see a message on screen referring you to configure your terminal in the Thin Manager interface. So I'll stop mirroring my iPad display so we can go into Thin Manager and finish setting up this terminal. In Thin Manager, you can see it has automatically opened the terminal configuration wizard for setting up this new iPad terminal. You are, we are not replacing a terminal, so I'll just click Next. I will now enter a name for my tablet, and I'll simply name it iPad. I will also change the group to my wireless group. By clicking Next, we see the hardware information defaulted to Apple and iOS device, along with the terminal ID. Next again takes us to the terminal options. I'm going to leave these as the default selections. Clicking Next again brings us to the terminal options. I'm going to click to enable Thin Manager user services, allowing users to log in and authenticate to the iPad, and I will enable location services, allowing us to use locations in Thin Manager for this tablet. Clicking Next again brings us to Login Requirements. I'm going to click the button for Login Methods to simply double check that our methods of authentication are all enabled. They should be, and it looks like they are. I'll click OK and then click Next again. Resolution settings are fine, so Next again. I'll go ahead and select a display client to assign to the terminal. This will show on the client every time it boots and connects to our server. I'm going to choose our maintenance work order application as my display client. I'll click Next again, and I don't need to change any interface options, so I'll click Next again. On the location options, I will leave the defaults, but this is where we can extend the capabilities of secure delivery with location resolvers. We'll explain those in another video. Clicking Next again brings us to the login information. By clicking Search, I can choose a user for authentication from my Active Directory. I'm going to choose Term 6 and verify that it authenticates properly. 
This is a user account specifically for Terminal Connection. Account successfully verified. Click OK. The next screen is the mobile device options. This gives us an array of options for customizing the ITMC application functionality. I'm going to leave the defaults. Next is modules. I'm not going to add any additional functionality with modules, so I'll click next again. The last screen is the connection monitoring settings. I'm going to leave this as the default fast intervals and simply click finish. Now you can see that we have an iPad in the wireless group of terminals on the left side tree pane. As it connects, you will see that it turns green. It does ask for a restart to check and push any configuration changes it might need to. We can go ahead and initiate that. Now if we jump back to mirroring the iPad, you can see that the device authenticated and brought up our maintenance work order app as intended. We now have a new iPad tablet ready to use with Thin Manager using ITMC. Learn more about mobility, users, our native mobile applications, and so many other features of Thin Manager by visiting thinmanager.com.